Draining, you know, it's more like Pudge is more fun than Anti-Mage. Bot lane. Stun out. No follow up spear, but now the Shackles is out. Shin Kyu making the rotation over. Save. Can be slowed up, and that should be a first blood, unless the God's Rebuke hey, might be enough. Save. He should be gone, and he is Shin <laughs> Kyu. Oh, Slayer, he is not giving up. Yeah, Faith Beyond, the poor guy just won't be left alone. He'll go to the low ground now. Shin Kyu is going to try and help out. TP away, is it going to be good enough? Yes, oh, it is. Just barely, and now nothing to say is going to come in. See if he can get anything done on the mag. He's got a lot of damage. Nice Stewart work. is there. King Slayer, looks like he's gone. <laughs> it's just an intended feature. They intended not to tell anyone black. It's just a surprise. Mid lane, power rune can be taken by the line. Doom is Hex up. out. Nothing to say. No, no Doom can be there in time. The skewer is good. Meanwhile, bot lane, DM now going to be in trouble. Rolling Thunder does connect from Faith Beyond. And you know what? Considering the fact that Faith had such a bad lane, he is still, still able to make things happen across the map. Well, Ame hasn't seen them yet either. The smoke, not broken. Save. He can get in range for that Hex now, Ame. They know he's there. Get a big surprise for himself. There's your Doom out. He's got no help on the way. They've just allowed Ame to die. The chances are you won't be able to save him anyway. Poshing very aggressively. He's all by himself, actually. He, nice he body block. He wants the 10-minute bounty rune. But yeah, bounty, body blocks are there by JPK. Now save is going to make his way in. King Slayer, he'll join in as well. And that'll be a dead shaman. Sing he tried. They're waiting for someone in the mid lane. Now, DPK is going to show up, and immediately an RP comes out. No hesitation, nothing to say. But do they have the damage up for GPK? He's all right for now. Off. Why? He's going to go even further. But now the Hex is there. Save. Again, with a great save, but the Rolling Thunder in from Faith Beyond. He's going all the way in for GPK. GPK could not avoid the Rolling Thunder at all. Meanwhile, not to say, he will go after DM. A two for two trade. GPK, GPK might be a casualty again. Oh, another great RP. The ward really paying off the LDD. They get the Doom again. And it all goes back to that one ward on the high ground. Very passive play now. Very passive play style. Mars. Mid lane. Close They've got here. the spear up. Very nice initiation from DM. That'll be why gone. Maybe he could get the egg in off in time. No. He's gone. I sure. sure. Now the arena is in. DM locking them down. It's not going to be quite enough. Nightfall though. He got the Omni off on the CQ. He kills off the Shaman. He want to say he has an RP very soon. In fact, he has it right now. He just needs to find the moment. GPK. Being caught, but he does throw the Doom out now. Onto Arme, the troll can't battle Trent. Magnus jumping right in onto save. It is not going to help Arme. He is still alive, but eventually is going to tick out. The RP never really happened. They've got a pretty decent power spike on pretty much everyone on LGD. Virtus Pro probably not going to be too interested to fight, but they might have no choice because the Rolling Thunder are going to cancel the TP of their this King the Slayer. Bong, 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 bong. Who are they gonna find? Who is the unfortunate player? It could be the Juggernaut. That would be the perfect catch, but oh, King Slayer smoking them perfectly done. Yeah, really good positioning from King Slayer. Can they find anyone else? LDD? Not quite. Oh, nothing to say. No, he gets one. RP into into the skewer, and they just pop the battle trance. Nothing blown to up say. so fast. Absolutely. Now Faith Diani can't even more DM. He'll get to the high ground. Look Absolutely. at LGD, they're outplaying him so hard right now. Maybe As I say, that's all. though, he gets caught by DM. <laughs> Speed is there into the Omni Slash. No playing around. It has been very often, I might add. Faith Beyond. Online, GPK. Oh, he's caught Sync Q right in with the Hex. They want that Doom gone. And they'll get him. King Slayer unable to help on the Enchantress and Arme. We'll keep going. If you get a bit of a cherry on top, you'll get it. LGD, they don't. I feel LGD. like I haven't seen a single move from either team without a smoke so far. <laughs> lane, oh, nice initiation. Sync Q again with the Hex into the Shackle. Rolling Thunder with the Sun Ray will be enough damage. Arme not even needed. All right, very brave. They don't have the fastest Roche lineup, and LGD is right in the neighborhood. They are, they're gonna Icarus dive in with the Rolling Thunder and the RP, everything committed. They want that jump gone, but he is not dead yet. He's actually quite tanky. He continues to survive even after all the spells thrown out. Now with the Omni, trying to turn it back around. 
Nobody dies yet. The right side. Oh, I'm gonna cut off completely. After Arme, the troll in trouble, still alive, can battle trance, and now will ride onto Night 4. He'll get a kill to the Phoenix. He's been chased up by Arme. He'll be fine, but no, Sink Q's there with the shackles holding him down, but nobody's there to follow up Sink Q. Now with the Hex, can still hold the jump. Nobody's dying. DM goes back in for the spear. Earth spike out from save. They will kill off Arme. Patient outside the Roche pit, killing him up throughout the entire duration of all these stuns. So well Spear out. Then Port Y again. He glimmers, but it's not gonna help him. Not it underneath the dust of Virtus Pro. Okay, net worth heroes just taken out of the fight completely, and there's nothing they can do about it unless they burst the doom. Fade. Wrong Thunder is committed. He's gonna go straight in onto Nightfall, but the spin is there in time. And now the RP! Huge RP! He got three, but the skewer is not gonna catch anyone. The Doom is out. They have got Arme, I believe, with that Doom. DM still falling very, very low, but Arme now being doomed up. What do you do after the BKB wears out? He gets Hex. Spear there. Nothing to say. Still does get DM. And Arme is gonna be safe, but now the Omni being committed by Nightfall. They'll get one. It'll be Y. Nightfall, got the axe up now. He can turn around for a swift slash. Back in with the Doom to boot. They get the shackles though. They have caught the junk, but there is no follow up damage. Nightfall, he is still fine to continue fighting. Nothing to say, he's not gonna die. It's almost a you know? Juggernaut is a pro player. Go. RP oh, is there, but the spin nice was spin, out though. of time. Great spin from Nightfall. Adriani still in with the Rolling Thunder. They are going to get King Slayer, but now the Omni Slash is going to just go straight through everybody. Y is already gone. The Mag very, very low. DM taking care of him. Nothing to say. He will try to skew around. They're going to chase him down. Gets a blink away. I'm very happy with this item choice over Basher. Like, you don't need motor stables. You have Mars. Lane. You have Lion. They bought the Mars, DM in trouble. In the Serpent Wards, he will drop, and the shackles again from CQ, holding another down. Where he is gone. DP. Be careful, CQ is looking, but no, they found the arena, but not in time for the Spear Army. He got the Abyssal out, DM, he is trapped, and he's gone. GPK, he'll get the Doom out on the troll. He's still fine, meanwhile, Night 4, getting a mega kill streak, killing off CQ, but now the Omni, no. Swift Slash. Has been loaded. It's burning. And Nightfall's gonna die. King Slayer trying to run. He will be another casualty of war. VP might be the ones to smoke, and yeah, they get it done. Smoke up into the mid lane. They're gonna see Faith Beyond first. Nothing to say. Gonna have his own smoke broken. Sun ready to start. Now the Abyssal into the skill. The second Abyssal. The RP. Everything committed. Nightfall. Can he survive through it? Another stun, but he is still alive. Nightfall will spin his way out. DM, he'll be the one to drop. Nothing to say, does kill off save and GPK. Will go down a boot. He's feeling itchy, you could tell, man. Like, he was like, oh, I got a spin right here. <laughs> They're gonna force him to fight. They can't lose this final lane of barracks. It might be a little bit too challenging to get into Megas. Arme, just ignoring everyone. They will stun him up. Rolling Thunder has been started by Faith Beyond. Back the way of the Enchantress. He'll get Kingslayer, he'll buy back. If uh, LGD believe in that, and RP is out, no spin is there. They get the Lotus in time, DM is going to jump into the arena. Abyssals, Battle Trap, everything. Okay, up he's, done done more, he's gone. He can buy him back and will commit it, but they've lost DM. They'll probably lose another, and do. Uh, there goes King Slayer. GPK is just trying to run, and well, Nightfall has been hexed once again. GPK is forced to throw his body do. at the side of LGD to protect the jump, but the DP is called. And LDD surprising everyone. Pulling off the game they one do. victory. They... Yeah, it looked like the game was slipping. It... Just allow everyone to rotate in as they have started Hunger on GPK. Very low here. Yeah, GPK's gone. First blood will be actually secured by nothing to say. No exorcism up, but they want to just try and force Nightfall out of this farming area. And now Dream Coil going to be committed right onto that Phoenix save. He can't really do much about this. Snowball will come in from CQ and they will secure another kill. I think LDD, they're playing this perfectly. Yeah, using their low cooldown ultimate to just secure a kill. Great King, a little bit of trouble here. Just going to walk it off. 
GPK, X Torrent is there on for DP. Shards out, both gonna fly through, does connect with the Spirit Siphons. It's just so much reach in. How do you get through it? Now the arena's down, but the snowball is gonna allow him to get right back out of it. And the egg is down, Exorcism has been committed. They might be able to get something out of this. They've got the spear. Faith, they want to keep going perhaps. Why? Stuck around. That Tidebringer hit does hurt quite a bit. Now Q even being X'd up. GPK will bring him back. Torrent, not quite on the mark. Q one of the denier, but won't get it. And they might be able to find them. Faith is there. Dream Coil immediately on to GPK. Still a great target to get, and GPK, he got the boat out, but it really doesn't help. And Triangle gonna be reinvaded by VP. Nothing to say. Get X'd up. Taunts immediately onto Nightfall. Now the Yule's out, they get the bounty rune. No exorcism to play with, Nightfall. Get started on Sing Q, War is Punch committed. Now the arena. DM's in, Faith will follow up. Green Coil is back up. They are gonna commit the egg. Immediately LGD trying to rush for it, but nobody can get in range. Maybe they can't no. Save. He gets the full egg off, and that will mean Beat Beyond goes down. Arme, he's gonna try and fight with the battle transfer. The boat does come in, and that should mean they are saved. BP will stand their ground and nightfall. Does get a double kill on the raid king. It is way too good. You gotta, gotta pay some bucks to to hear that. <laughs> I can give you some dad jokes Thank though. Like, I'm always open for those. Please don't. Spear out onto the tier 2 tower. They are going to see GPK in the mid lane. Yes, Snowball no immediately in. GPK does not have one. He gets shot up though. Arena is down for DM and the egg is going to be there right outside the arena. Nobody can focus it down. LGD going to have to back off for a bit, but now they can go right back in without GPK being up. It's going to be a nice easy team fight for LGD. GPK doesn't want to buy back. Nightfall, he's going to be forced to BKB himself. Now the buyback's there for DPK. They're going to try and turn this one around. Nothing to say, they already kill off DM. Back on Arme though. He did not get the battle trance off in time. Now DPK kills off Sing Q and they want more BP. They make it work. Fair enough. He's going to TP back down to the bot lane to try and defend. Arme needs to be cautious. They are sneaking up from behind in the arena. Going to be nice, but Arme, he got the BKB in time. Right onto the Wraith King, but another great egg. Or is it? They're going to try and focus it with the battle trance. They do get it. They get it down, save without buyback. Now BP, can they fight without it? Well, they've got Arme anyway. Battle trance down. Means the troll will die. DP falling quite low. Nothing to say. Try and run his way out now as more buybacks are flying out. Save. He's back with the team fight with the sun ray. Nothing to say. Looking not really that tanky. Snowball gonna bring him right back in. This is not where they want to be. And LDD, they're still going. Nothing to say. Back up to healthy. Now Faith Beyond in the backside gets GPK on the conquer. Is he actually just gonna outrun the side of VP? He will. In the same mid lane, Nightfall gonna get Yule Stop, shards out. Nightfall is fairly alone, nobody's around him. He gets up his BKB off, Tombstone's down. His teammates slowly making their way over with the Sun Rain now. Nightfall might be okay, but no, they are still going. They are committed. Arena on the floor with the Dream Coil. Faith Beyond holding them all down. Arme, he will pop the battle trap back on a Nightfall. The Rain King looking very squishy now. He's gone. Dead. Very confident farming position from Nightfall, and they even get saved. Might potentially be a bigger one. Faith Beyond, speed up, DM. Get the timing right with the torrent. Nice. They have the control. Mm -hmm. Straight into GPK. This conquer, he's had such a hard time this game, and it's not going to get that much easier. He just gets bursted down so time quick by LGD. Now, TP's out, no, nice Green Coil, Coil they have caught out the Wraith King, Nightfall is going to try and run with the BKB, but they're going to chase him down, a great shot down from CQ to lock him in before the staircase, and now they have the control with the Tombstone, Nightfall, he's going to try and fight, but he is all alone, they even whip him before he dies. So 
Tinker's due for a buff, and it scares me a lot. To go back into that very boring, slow... No, don't. Don't stick up for Tinker. In fact, hold that thought, because in the triangle, they are going to go in on the DM. In fact, they found Kingslayer as well. DM is going to try and fight back with his BKB, but Ame has the control with the ensnares, just locking him down. He drops the arena to at least buy some more time for his team, but nothing to say is getting to work, getting the job done. Egg going to be committed. Nightfall going to try and protect it. Nothing to say, just getting it down with Ame, and now the battle trance is there under the Raid King. He will lose the first life and more than likely the second. As he Ash. has nobody around him. He'll no try to TP out, but the Walrus Punch is there in time. Wait until he gets picked a little Just bit competitive, press. maybe. See some strengths and weaknesses. No, no. Now don't Let's nerf him. Too far. Don't nerf him. Just delete him. Much easier. Saves you the time. Mathiano, this could be a big team fight. LGD, they get the Dream Coil. They've caught three. Arena down, Sunray boat, everything being thrown out, but they have so many enemies surrounding them in this arena. Nightfall, he just can't hit anyone right now. Egg is finally down, but they're gonna have plenty of time to take it out. Now DM, he is still trapped up by the shards. He is gone. 30k gold in now. And that's it, is called. They call it. Very uneventful game, unfortunately. Like, the draft was heavily favoring PSG LGD, and they didn't really ever drop the ball. Rave King was very far.